Hello, welcome to the demonstration of the Variatech BX project software. Um, we're going to break up this um, demonstration in a couple of smaller pieces so you can uh, take your time and uh, look at uh, one piece at a time. Um, I will start with a planning overview uh, so that you have an idea where, where the real power of our software uh, is. Now to have a look, first of all um, we have in the master planning um, the project menu where from the project master data all the information is shown in the master planning and the department planning. The difference between those two, master planning is a real project planning, so it's a Gantt uh, planning with lead times. Department planning is not something you have to use, you can use it, and there is the link between the projects and the resources, which can be machines, uh, people, uh, whatever you need um, to, uh, to make it work. Now, if you look at the master planning, in basis, you can do two things with it. You can do real project planning and you can do project management. Now, I will give you a very brief overview of the possibilities because you can do a lot of it with it. First of all, if you look at the screen, you have the icon bar. We have a lot of possibilities, settings. Uh, scales of how you look at your project. In this uh, case, it's a, a day scale. You can change that in week or month or whatever you need. Um, further on, you have four areas where you uh, have information. Here on the left upper side, you have the information about your active projects, so status, start, and uh, date, things like that. You see the same here on the right, where in this screen this thin red line is today and these thick red lines are the promised delivery dates to customers so those those uh, lines are very important here down left you have your departments and in the department you see also the information about the capacity in this case um, it says 64 this means 64 hours a week now how do we come to that we have two employees in our department Pablo is working 40 hours Vincent 24 so altogether 64 hours and that's what you see here on the right side in this bar it's 64 hours of capacity per week now if you see from the project above that they need capacity it's shown here like this with the green colors if it's an active um, project like here you see that that brownish color you can see exactly what capacity you need for that specific project and if you have any problems like here like here there uh, it turns out red and red says you need more capacity and how you do that that's your case because you're the planner now if we see this how can you solve problems in this case now first of all you can say I do nothing I know I have some some, some buffer in my company and it's not too much I can do it that's fine. Second um, solution you can uh, you can use is that you um, get in more people in a certain time, and then the system says fine. Then you can uh, do that as well. Or and that's what uh, what's needed in this case. You have to move around. Now what do we see here? We see that you need capacity f from this greenish um, project and from the brown one. So if we pick up the brown one here, and we move that to the right, Come. then we see it's working. If we move this to the right, you see also immediately that everything else goes to the right. And that's because of those blue arrows there. Those are constraints, and constraints make the planning dynamic. Now we have three types of constraints. This one is the most used, uh, it's a start-finish constraint, which says only if this one is finished, the next one can start. That's the reason that when I put this to the right, everything moves to the right. We also have start-start and finish-finish constraints, where activities have to start or finish at the same day. Now, how does it work? You've seen it already, I can also switch it back. If I say I want to have my last um, activity started here, 
and everything because of those constraints is moved back. If I put this one and put it to the right, then only everything underneath here is going to the right because these constraints are valid. So you can move and manipulate your uh, planning very, very easily. What can we do? We can say, okay, we move it, in this example, to today, then we have a problem here and we have a problem here. Now, how can we solve that problem? First of all, this problem uh, can be solved by just making the, uh, the lead time longer. So in this production we will say, okay, let's put it on you know, one day more. Now, now it fits exactly in one week. Now how does that come if we look at production? We see that we have an allocation of 71 uh, hours and that's what, what we need here in this time frame. Now we see here a little problem with assembly as well, so we make that a little bit longer. And we need even more than a week. Now it fits, but we see that there is still something left from another project. And here with my delivery I have to do the same. Just make it a little longer. And if I have a look now, I see here that no red lines on this project, so this is planned very well for my resource or capacity needs. Another thing I see here are those white triangles, and those white triangles um, refer to the materials I need for these two specific activities. And these say you need to order so at least here or start producing, otherwise you're too late to start this activity with your material. Now in this case they're both white, so we have no problem. If they are turned to the left of this uh, red line, they turn red and you uh, can have an alert. Um, and yeah, then you have to see what to do about it. And the last thing important for this planning project is this icon, the green and, uh, and red goal, which represents a milestone. And you can also see that milestone on the bar, project bar above. Milestones are very important, they can um, mean very important steps in your project and in those, um, um, in this, this project bar you can have a couple of milestones and one of the things you can do is link invoices to this milestone. So what could be here is that if this milestone is finished you can send your first invoice for instance. So that's a very powerful tool as well. Now that's in basis what we do with planning. Very easily drag and drop, see directly the consequences in your capacity, see directly the consequences of your material and your milestones, and you have a very good overview of what you have to do. So it's a very, very powerful planning tool. Now the other thing we have is in the same screen, I will open another project, project management. First of all we see here this project London is blue and that's because of the fact that this is in status quotation and you can choose whether you want to see quotations in your planning or not. This one is green, which is it's an active project and in this case it's already released. And what do we see? First of all we see white and black lines in our activity bars. What does that mean? The white bar means that it's already planned, so in the department planning. And the black bar means there's already worked on. So if I put my cursor here, I can see that my allocation is 32 hours. Between brackets I can see that I've worked 31 hours and that represents this black line. Another thing I see is that I have here and here yellow triangles instead of white. And these yellow triangles means, you can see it here, that I have order lines and no more need. So everything for my project is in. If I wouldn't have everything here, you would also see the white um, triangle of the material need as well. So only the yellow ones is that everything is in. Now how can I um, uh, look into details in this case? I go to production, I right click, I say show me my orders and here you see the two purchase orders for my project. I can go from there directly into 
my purchase orders, see exactly what's happening. This one is closed, so it's in. And here we see with the project information, 12 ordered, all 12 for this project, and I have no quantity open. So that's the reason you don't see the white triangles. Now if you want to see some extra information um, about what's the meaning of, of uh, these hour bookings, you can also double click and say I want to go to my project sheet. And here you have your project master data, where all the information uh, you have on your projects is shown. So if I open my structure, I see exactly where I have to make my hours. I also see the amount of hours booked. And if I go to my budget tab, I can see exactly the consequences of both materials and hours in the cost. So every step I'm, I make, I have uh, complete control over my projects. Now if you finish uh, certain activities, you see that the project doesn't take that in account anymore and it's a grayed out uh, bar. The same here with this milestone, it's grayed out as well, so the milestone is finished. The reason, that's the reason this one is black. Now, as I said, there are a lot of other possibilities, but this is the basis. So a very good integration um, of both project management and project planning. And if you do project planning, you have a complete overview directly over your resources and over your material, which is a very uh, strong point. Now, if we close this one and we go to the department planning, we have another kind of planning. I open this as well. What we see here is another overview of what all in the other uh, planning screen. So here you see the same, you see all the activities with all the information, but there is only half of it is, is uh, colored, that means it's all given out, and that's what we saw in the white bars. Now how does that show? If I go here with my cursor, I see this, this is for Project, project Brazil, and it's um, uh, four hours, um, which I gave, uh, I gave out here. This is, is very, very uh, handy and it works very easy. What you do, you pick up your activity, go to the um, department you want to have it worked on, and you release it. Now you can see, in total there were 63, uh, 36 uh, hours. I already gave out these and I still have left 4 hours. That's what this thing is showing. Because I can say, okay, I pick up these 4 hours and I put them here with uh, Vincent. With Vincent you also see here that the, the, he has two white spaces, that's because of he in his calendar it says he only works three days of eight hours, which is the 24 hours of capacity you have, uh, you have here. So this way you can just pick up time and uh, give it out. Very, very straightforward. And here you have a directly complete overview of the uh, load of your personnel, machines, whatever you need. If you need more detail, you can just click here and make this bigger. And then you can see the, the start and end time from the working calendar. And here you see the information of what has to be given out to whom and start time, and start time and end time and things like that. So a lot of easy information and it's a very, very simple um, way to use your planning. So this is what I wanted to show you about the planning. Um, next uh, demonstration is about project master data. That was it. Thank you.